Hi everybody, this is Adam Baragzai over here at AHS Realty Pros. In this video today, I'm going to cover with you guys Digital Inc. 2.0 and this is the recent upgrade that they made in March. So if you've used Digital Inc. 1.0 in the past, well I'm going to tell you guys this is going to be almost as good as DocuSign. In my personal opinion, I actually like it better because it's free and there's some pretty cool features that I personally like. So if you guys are new to this, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this. If you guys have other questions about filling out residential purchase agreements, listing agreements, some of the forms, disclosures, you guys will find video links for those in the description box below. And I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and get this done. So stay tuned. All right, so to get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on over to card.org. Again, CAR stands for California Association of Realtors to make it easier to remember. And when you do so, you want to go ahead and sign into your account. And once you log in and it says hi, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on this Zip Forms Edition icon right here. And it's going to validate your membership and once it turns yellow go ahead and hit continue all right great so now when you log in what you want to do is you want to go ahead and change over to digital link 2.0 if you haven't done so already and to do this go ahead and click on this little arrow next to me and go to profile and settings and under settings you're going to find a few different options so here's Digital Ink 1.0 and there's Digital Ink 2.0. So you want to make sure you select Digital Ink 2.0. Choose the time zone that you're in. So we happen to be in Pacific time. And then you want to go ahead and hit save. And go ahead and go on back to your dashboard. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use Digital Ink 2.0 on a purchase offer. We're going to go ahead and select new and we're going to go ahead and make an offer and for example purposes we're going to go ahead and put in the address here at ahs realty pros conquered and this is residential and i'm going to go ahead and choose a template so i'm going to choose my offer template and I have other videos on how to go ahead and set up templates, setting up the MLS Connect. For this video, we're going to go ahead and focus on just the Digital Ink 2.0 aspect of Zip Forms. So go ahead and hit Save. Once you're inside the transaction that you want, we're going to go ahead and go to Documents. And under Documents, I always use a cover sheet here, and this is my buyer template. So everything that I normally like to use on a buyer offer is here and I don't have to go uploading any form. So I have my brokerage disclosures here too if needed. So we're going to go ahead and just put some very basic information in for the buyer. So my buyer's name is Adam Buyer. I'm going to check off this little box here and I'm going to put the email address as Adam at AHS Realty Pros. And for the seller, I'm going to go ahead and name them Sally Seller. And as we can see, it's already got the property address that we put in on the transaction when we first started out. You always want to make sure that there's an APN number. We're going to go ahead and say the APN is 1 through 9. For the purposes of this example, we're going to go ahead and put a purchase price of $999,000, dollars $5,000 in earnest money deposit and this is the amount of the money we're actually borrowing this is a residential property and anything else that we want to go ahead and fill in you can and again I will have video links down below on how you can go ahead and take advantage of my buyer template that really covers this in a lot more depth and lastly you want to make sure you have the information for the brokerage you're at in your info we're going to go ahead and hit save now and presuming that we went ahead and filled this out correctly we're going to 
assume that this residential purchase agreement here is filled out the way it's supposed to and we're not going to really worry about the details of this because that's a different video we're going to focus on the signing so you can start the signing process by clicking on this e-sign logo right here or go to the first document that you want to go ahead and have signed and you want to go look for this sign icon again and I'm going to choose the other two documents that I want to go ahead and upload so I've gotten my three documents that I wanted to send out to the buyer for signatures so I'm going to call this package RPA plus school plus HOA just to make it easier for me to recall what was in the signature package I'm going to go ahead and hit next and so here is going to be buyer one Adam buyer and here's the agent that's me I'm going to go ahead and hit close and normally for a residential purchase agreement I like this order here where the buyer signs first and I sign after the buyer go ahead and hit no thanks okay so it is uploaded now and I just want to show you guys something really quick if you use digital ink 1.0 remember before you were having to wait and sit around now you can literally scroll through 10 to 15 pages and not have to wait for it to load which is really great like all systems there might be a couple of hiccups so it's gotten most of it right it's got the buyers name right there I checked off this box and so far so good let's just go down a little bit and we're gonna scroll down further over here and presume that I missed a date right here so what I can do is I can go ahead and choose Adam buyer hit this little menu right underneath it to where it says date and it's going to go ahead and hit the insert the date in that it was uh, signed right in that field right there. And let's assume that I didn't actually check off on the residential purchase agreement who is representing who. So I could do it a couple of different ways. I can go ahead and take this little red checkbox and I can put it right on top of that. And I'm going to do that. For the very first few right here that ABC brokerage is representing the seller and also I'm going to show you guys another little trick so I want to be able to type sometimes on the form so let's just say I want to check off this checkbox here and this checkbox and this is a little misleading on this program so you think you can basically drag this text box over and get it to work that's not how the program was designed so I'm going to show you guys the way to actually do this so if you go to where it says markup you see where it says draw text you click on that and what you do is you basically you don't drag it you click where you want the text to go and in this instance I'm going to go ahead and just make a little X and I'm going to use that little X basically to signify that Adam Baragza here now is representing HS Realty Pros. And one thing that's really nice about this is let's just say this was a really long uh, name or something else that I needed. I could just hit copy. And then I can come down here and I could right click again. And I can go and just make another X in this box. And there's a reason why I'm showing you guys this because doing it this way really makes it where the buyer doesn't have to keep tapping on their computer screen or on their phone. So we'll take a look at that in a second. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit further. Same idea here. We can go drag the date to where it is. And let's assume that I forgot to put in something like... Uh, seller to credit buyer 
a total of five thousand dollars towards buyer's closing costs. So I can go ahead and click on this, put this in here. Seller to credit buyer. Ten thousand dollars towards. So that's pretty cool and same idea if I wanted uh, to for example maybe put in a missing initial I can come over here and drag this initial box right here and just drop it in and there's a couple of different initials this one right here is optional so if you need the buyer to go an initial down here you probably don't want to confuse them by using this. I would highly recommend using the ones that are actually in red. It'll make it a little bit easier and less confusing for your buyer. And I could go ahead and drop the date in here. And we're going to presume this is all filled out correctly. And we're going to scroll down to the other two forms that I uploaded. So we're going to type in an address here. For this form and also I can go ahead and drag a buyer signature right here I can put the date like I showed you guys earlier I can also just go ahead and pull their name down right there and I can do the same exact action for the agent as well if needed and right here I need the address so maybe instead of typing it out again I can go to the top click on the little setting wheel right here go to copy right click right here and hit paste Drop that right there. I can put the date in right here if needed. And let's just say I had some acknowledgments. The buyer received the articles of incorporation in this example. So what I can do is I can do it a couple of different ways. I can go ahead and put that red X there. I could also uh, use these radio buttons right here so if there was a a yes maybe a no right here on this document or I needed a, a third option right here or said it's, it didn't apply so what would happen is the buyer when they select one either one of these right here it would move on to the next question they couldn't select all of them it's, one or the other and you could have another row going across like that and to start another row you're going to go ahead and just basically drag that right there put this in the same exact way and now we can go ahead and do it like that so this is really useful for forms such as the 1960 in older homes where you basically have to uh, let the buyer know if the seller has anchored the house down or if they don't know or if it's on a hillside this can be really useful for that and there's some other really cool little things here that you can do uh, such as this initial pages so if you click on this little button that I just clicked on it's gonna pull up everything that's in that signature package going out to the buyer Let's just say I needed uh, these two documents to have initials and luckily these are only one page long but if let's just say they were 40 pages because there were preliminary title reports or uh, home inspection something where it's more than a few pages choose where I want the initials to go and the most important part right here is you want to choose a party for them to execute something on so we're going to choose Adam Buyer and automatically he's going to put these initials 
on the bottom of the document in the center but if I need it on the right hand side I could just choose it right here so we're gonna hit continue now if you scroll down a little bit you can see there's an initial right here and there's also an initial right there so this makes signing certain disclosures a lot easier and it's, it's really a great system guys uh, you guys got to try it out for yourself so one thing that I highly recommend whenever you're working on something every half an hour or so if it's a bigger document go ahead and hit save I'm gonna go ahead and send these out now for signatures to the buyer here and if the agent needed to sign again we can do the same exact thing here if there was a place for the agent to sign on let's just say this form right here they need to initial the the bottom I'm just gonna go ahead and bring their initial right here on the left hand side hit send and you have a couple of different options here you can just hit send invitation or you could do a customized invite I like to do the customized invite on the very first email that goes out to the buyer in case it goes in a spam folder I'll include a special word in there maybe the name of the street something so that way they they know what it's for and it might be easier for them to find in their uh, inbox so I'm gonna just go ahead and hit send invitation so the signature package was successfully started and one thing that you can always do is if you want to see what the status of a package is if there's multiple signers on it you can go back to that transaction and check the history right here and you can see that Adam Buyer has uh, not signed yet and is pending and if you did make a mistake on the email address you can go ahead and correct it here you could go ahead and resend the invitation you can cancel you can edit things and you can also view what's in this signature package going out hey guys really quick if you're enjoying the video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up it really does let YouTube know that I'm doing a good job and giving you guys content that actually brings value and this is not just spam I'm walking you guys through this so uh, a like a subscribe is greatly appreciated and I'm also going to have some information about AHS Realty Pros here as well if you guys haven't come down to our office yet we are here in Concord and we have a really cool platform here we are an agent centric brokerage and we have a lot of cool systems such as Chime everything's paperless and it's a flat fee brokerage so you really do get the support seven days a week and it's a really cool place. I love working here. I love the people that are around the office energy level. I'm actually here on a holiday. So for once, I get a nice vacant office. And I love it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And roughly a few minutes later, I actually have an email right here. It says your signature is requested. And the nice thing about this is it's super easy. They click one button. And I'm going to show you guys what the buyer sees. And then what we'll do after that is we'll go ahead and show you guys what the selling agent sees as well. So this is the sign-in screen. The buyer can also draw their signature. They can select a different font or they can just hit accept. I'm going to go ahead and hit accept here. And once you hit accept, you can see you can go ahead and start the signing process by clicking the red start button. You can go ahead and acknowledge your signature by clicking on it. And those were those boxes earlier that we talked about. As you can see, the buyer actually has to check it off. And when they did check it off it leaves a black X whereas the one I did by manually typing out an X and putting it in that is one less step for the buyer to have to take 
So I kind of like this idea better, but in case you do want to have the buyer acknowledge it this way, you can. And there's an initial down here, another initial. And as you guys can see, there's a progress bar up top and it lets them know that there's 25 uh, total mandatory fields and we're on number seven so far out of the 25. And right here, anytime you have a that green uh, initial button that you we could have used, this is what they have to do. They actually have to accept it or decline it. And I'm actually doing this real time with you guys. There is no uh, editing in this part of the video. So you guys get to see exactly what's going to happen. And there's no more loading times. It's super easy. And look at that. If they try to select multiple uh, different options, it won't let them. So if I choose this option, this is automatically unchecked. So really great. And also, every time on the left-hand side, there's a little red arrow that indicates where they should be signing, so it gets their attention. And as you can see, we reached field number 25, and we are done. And most importantly, they have to hit complete signing. And the buyer is done. And now what will happen is... If you had yourself in second order, you're going to get an email a few minutes later. Roughly a minute later, I got two emails. The first email right here is just letting me know that a signature took place and gives you certain information about what happened and even the IP address, which is going to be right in this field right here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And here's the other email that came in. It says your signature is requested. And this is me as the selling agent. And same exact idea. I can go ahead and hit start signing. And I get the same exact options as the buyer. So I can draw a signature. I can select a different font. I'm going to go ahead and hit accept. And if you're signing all the time and you don't want to see the screen all the time, you could also go ahead and check off this box right here. Go ahead and hit start. Look how fast this is. I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And we're going to wait. And 610 right now, we're going to see how long it takes for everything to come back to me with all the attachments included so I can go ahead and download them and send them off to the listing agent and get my buyer's offer accepted. So check that out guys. Within a minute, I got another email letting me know that a signing update had occurred. And this one is the same exact thing. It lets you know that uh, somebody signed and gives you the IP address and gives you the person that actually participated in the signing. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Okay, so still 611, and I got another email here. And this is pretty cool. Right here, I can go ahead and click on this. And if I do, I can go ahead and check out all the forms that were signed and download them as one PDF. I can grab them individually. And this is super easy. I want to show you guys what this looks like when you actually click on this. And so here is the residential purchase agreement with all the attachments included. And the best part is you can actually use the Digital Ink 2.0 with programs such as Glide. And this makes it super easy. You guys have never tried Glide. Glide is like the TurboTax 
for seller disclosures. And uh, Glide is really great for transfer disclosure documents, seller property questionnaires, P agreements before you go look at homes, and in our MLS, which is CCAR. This is actually included in for free. So a uh, great little program to go ahead and try out in case you're taking a lot of listings. And Glad is really great for sellers because it makes them filling out the disclosures a seamless process. All right, guys. Well, there you guys go. I showed you guys how to go ahead and use Digital Link 2.0. And also, the nice thing with it is, is free. And it really is a really easy to use system. You can go ahead and access those documents again if you needed to right on the dashboard here on zip forms and you could always access your signed disclosures here and it makes a folder for you and everything is here that i need if i need to download it again and again digital ink 2.0 is free you can use it and everything else in zip forms is the same it's just the signing process will be different but easier all right well there it is digital ink 2.0 explained if i have actually done a good job guys please leave the comments down below and again my contact information will be below as well and this is adam baragzai over at ahs realty pros i'm actually fortunate enough to be here on uh, a holiday and the office is completely empty and so shooting a video like this can be done fairly easy if you guys are unfamiliar with ahs brand well i gotta share some news with you guys we are a completely agent centric brokerage so we really focus on agent growth and my and me and my business partner kenny Ga, we're here for you guys seven days a week big on value low on fees and we provide all the systems you can imagine so we have chime we're completely paperless your websites uh, anything you can imagine, your business cards, your car magnets, all that stuff is done by us because we know you guys want to sell real estate and not start playing secretary. So we do all these things for you guys. And this is really a team atmosphere. So if you guys are in the neighborhood and you guys want to drop by, I'm going to have a link down below to our careers website where in black and white, we really tell you guys what's happening with our real estate brokerage. And we are a flat fee brokerage. And I got to tell you guys, it's really nice to have 100% commission. If you guys have never heard of it and you don't think that it's possible, I'm telling you guys, I'm standing here right now letting you guys know this is real. I'm real. And we can definitely help you guys out. Again, we are so dedicated to your success. You will find my contact information down below. And I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.